hello guys welcome back to my channel in case you are new to this channel you're welcome please don't forget to subscribe before you go and turn on the bell as well thank you so much so in my last update about this is fate Sherlyn made a plan to push Prita onto a moving truck but Sherlyn felt dizzy and Mayura wanted to help Sherlyn to push Prita but Mayura slips and she pushed Sherlyn instead and Sherlyn was hospitalized and later the doctor said that Sherlyn is fine but she lost a baby that 20 years pregnancy that she has been carrying she lost it that was our last update let's continue from there Ritfi says that whatever happens was for the benefit of them because if the child was born, then the child would have made Sherlyn's life a hell and Sherlyn would not have been able to sleep or stay awake, so it is for the best. Sherlyn says that it feels as if Ritfi doesn't care after what has happened and the child belongs to them both and the child was a sign of their love. Ritfi makes Sherlyn sit down and apologize saying that he doesn't know how Sherlyn feels. Sherlyn says that she wants revenge of what has happened and she wants Pritfi to take the revenge for the loss of their child and Pritfi must kill anyone that is responsible. Pritfi asks Sherlyn to at least inform him about how the accident happened. Sherlyn replies that she doesn't know how the accident happened because she just felt dizzy and she got into an accident and Pritfi promised Sherlyn to get the revenge for her. Pritfi goes to the contract killer and Pritfi eats him from behind with a glass and Pritfi tries to kill him and Pritfi asks that why did he want to kill his Sherlyn baby but the contract killer says that he did not want to kill Sherlyn. Pritfi once again eats the killer in the head and Pritfi continues to throw the man here and there in the shop and Pritfi doesn't even let him explain himself. The contract killer pleaded his innocence saying that he did not hurt Sherlyn. Pritfi replies that the man has the last chance to speak the truth otherwise he would eat his head and the contract killer replies that Sherlyn was pushed by the other woman that was with her. Pritfi asks the killer for the name of the person and the killer replies that Sherlyn hired him to kill Prita with the truck but Prita was not coming out from the footpath so Sherlyn wanted to throw Prita to the truck but instead Sherlyn was pushed by the other woman who was with her. Pritfi shows the photo of Myra to the killer and the killer says that it was Mahira and he can recognize her at any crowd. Pritfi remembered that he saw Mahira by the accident site, but Mahira said that she was at her mother's house. Pritfi leaves after once again eating the man from the bag. Grandma was in her room, and Grandma asked Karina that what has happened. Karina replies that she cannot see Raki because Raki is crying a lot. Grandma responds that Raki was really happy that she was going to become a grandmother, but all her dreams were ruined. Prita enters with grandma's medicine but grandma refused to take her medicine and she says that she is not feeling well. Karina asked grandma not to mind her tears and she only got emotional but grandma replies that Karina must not lie to her because she knows Karina to be a really strong woman. However, Karina must not cry otherwise no one would remain strong enough. Karina replies that she tried a lot to remain strong and Karina and grandma both hug each other. Prita requests Karina not to cry because everything will be fine. But Karina asks that how would everything be fine when there is no chance of another baby. Karina looks at Prita standing there and Karina says that Prita's relationship with Karan is really strong. So if Prita and Karan can plan a baby, then everything will be fine. Grandma also replies that if Prita has a child, then it will give the family an heir, providing them with all of the happiness. Grandma asks Prita to think of what she said because Prita is the only one who can provide the family with the happiness. Pritfi enters the house and Pritfi stops him, asking that what is the matter and why is Pritfi so worried, but Pritfi leaves without saying anything. Sanjana comes there and asks Kritika to go and meet Grandma because Grandma is waiting for her. Sanjana follows Pritfi and stops him, saying that Pritfi must stop following her daughter, but Pritfi wants Sanjana to stop interfering in his matters because he will ruin her life. Pritfi says that Sanjana must stop talking because he is really mad right now and Pritfi wants Sanjana not to interfere in their matters because he really loves Sherlyn. Sanjana replies that both Sherlyn and Pritfi no longer have any relationship because Sherlyn is now Pritfi's past and Pritfi responds that Sherlyn is the mother of his unborn child and he later corrected himself and says that Sherlyn was the mother of his unborn child and he only respects Sanjana because Sanjana is Sherlyn's mother. However, Sanjana must not stop him because he can do anything because of the anger and Sanjana knows what Sherlyn means to him and he can do anything for her. Pritfi says that he will be the one to provide the justice for Sherlyn and he would remove anyone who tries to stop his part and he doesn't give a damn but he only wants to seek for revenge for Sherlyn. 
Sanjana says that this means that Pritfi knows who is behind the accident, and Pritfi replies that he has the ability to do what no one even thinks about, and the person that did this must seek for forgiveness because he will not give them the time, and he is only worrying to give the punishment. Sanjana wonders who the person might be, and Sanjana thinks that it can be anyone, but if in order to reveal the truth, they find the truth about Pritfi, then the entire Lutra family would ask questions, and any question that am Pritfi will not only am Pritfi, but it would also cause problems for Shailene, and Sanjana prays that everything should be fine. Prita was in her room, and she was worrying because of what has happened, and Araki was crying in the room. Karan also enters the room searching for Prita, and Karan comes to Prita. Prita immediately hugs Karan and she doesn't even let him go. And Prita later stepped back and she was standing. And she explains that everyone in the house is really worried, especially Raki who has been crying. And everyone hoped for a life filled with happiness, but now everyone is shattered. Prita says that Raki loves her a lot and she feels that they should also give them something in return. Karan assures Prita that time would heal everything. And Prita replies that Raki gave Karan life and in return, she feels that Karan should also give Raki a life. Karan asks that what does Prita mean, and Prita says that she really wants to be a mother. Karan was amazed hearing Prita, and both Karan and Prita looks into each other's eyes, and Karan remembers the moment that he has spent with Prita. Karan kissed Prita's forehead, and Karan was really happy, and Karan was constantly smiling, that Prita has given him the best news of his life. Karan says that he also wants to have a baby, but the reason that they need the baby to make up for the loss is not right, so they must give it some time. Prita tries to explain, but Karan says that he just wants to give it some time. Prita replies that she is not just saying it, but she also wants to have a child that she would, after coming to the house, she will be filled with joy, and Karina and Grandma both also want them to have a baby. Karan insists on leaving and having a conversation with Karina. But Prita stops Karan and says that this is what she also wants, and now she wants to know what Karan feels. And Karan holding Prita's hand brings Prita closer to himself and hugs her. And Prita even closes her eyes, resting on Karan's shoulder. And Karan remembers the first time that he hugged Prita after their marriage. And Prita also remembers that Karan was always there for her, so she is not leaving him now. Karan remembers the first time when he hugged Prita after their marriage. And Prita also remembers that Karan was always there for her, so she is not leaving him. And Karan remembers that Prita used to tease him by wearing his clothes. And Karan was worried, but he keeps on hugging Prita. Myra was lying down on her bed, and Prithvi knocks and opens the door. And Myra sits up, and she was worried. Prithvi asks Myra to come and meet Shelin because the entire family is with Shelin. And Prithvi says that Myra is the one that always says that Shelin is her friend, so Myra must come to meet Shelin now. Myra replies that she is not feeling well, and Pritfi locks the door from the inside and asks if Myra is feeling cold or if Myra has any injury. And then they used to make such excuses when they were in school, but now there are no more students. Pritfi, in anger, comes closer to Myra, asking that why is Myra lying. Myra asks that why did Pritfi touch her, and Myra assures Pritfi that she did not say any lie. Pritfi replies that when he called Myra, Myra said that she was at her mother's house when Myra was actually at the accident scene, and Pritfi vows to burn down the entire world if Myra even lies to him again. Pritfi also vows to Myra not to let her live so easily, because he himself knows the law, so he doesn't care for anyone. Pritfi says that Myra is here hiding, when she should go and see how painful Shailene is feeling, and the anger that is in her. Pritfi says that this is because Shailene was pregnant, and the life was in Shailene's stomach, but Myra has killed the life before the bird. Pritfi angrily eats the decoration, and the decoration falls, and Pritfi says that he cannot end the pain of Shailene, but he can reduce it by making the person who ruined Shailene's life pay for it. Myra says that she doesn't know what Pritfi is saying, and Pritfi asks if Myra is trying to confuse him, because whenever he is puzzled, then he eats the person in the head. Pritfi wants Myra not to lie because he knows that Myra was the one who pushed Shelin in front of the truck, and Pritfi vows to ruin Myra's life if she doesn't reveal the truth, and even if she speaks, then he will make sure that Myra suffers for the rest of her life, and Myra is even living her life, but she doesn't worth living. Myra wants Pritfi to stop saying everything that comes to his mouth, and Myra asks that why did Shelin have to make such a plan, and what was the need to hire the contract killer, because it was all Shelin's fault. Pritfi says that he has never think that Myra is such a stupid person, 
because Myra herself has accepted that she was at the accident scene and she saw the accident. Pritfi wants Myra to accept the blame because he is the only one who can save her and if Myra speaks the truth, then he will protect her. But if Myra dares to lie to him, then he will make Myra pay. Myra wants Pritfi to stop because she will not accept anything and Pritfi can do whatever he desires. Pritfi replies that he will now go and inform the entire literal family that Myra is the one behind the accident of Sherlyn. Raki was in her room and she was crying, remembering when Mahesh informed them that Sherlyn got into an accident. Karan comes from behind and calls Raki, but Raki doesn't stop crying, and Karan makes Raki sit and says that Raki must control herself, because if Raki is broken like this, then who would then take care of Mahesh? Karan tells Raki that they can bring back what was lost, and Raki asks that how can this happen? Karan replies that Raki also asks Prita and him, and Raki still doesn't understand, and Karan says that Prita and him desires to be a parent. Raki immediately feels happy, and she turns to Prita and kisses her hand, and she also hugs Karan. Raki was overjoyed, and she calls Prita, and she was hugging both Prita and Karan, and she was crying while also laughing at the same time. Mayura asks that why did Pritfi continue to threaten her and she would not become a murderer if Pritfi continues saying it and she promised to do a thousand times worse if Pritfi tries to ruin her. Pritfi comes to open the door and Pritfi says that he will go and reveal the truth. Mayura says that she would also first go and reveal to the family why Shailene actually go to the place and how she planned to kill Prita. Mayura says that she would also reveal to the family the actual murderer of Akshay and she would then say to the family that the child that they are crying for is not actually the Lutra family child and she asks Pritfi that why did he think that she cannot do anything because she is capable of standing for herself. Pritfi wants Mayura to pack her belongings because she is leaving and she would have to pay for what she has done and she will see now what Pritfi is capable of. Mayura leaves the room before Pritfi was able to and Mayura calls Karina and Pritfi was worried that if Mayura is going to reveal the truth. Sala and Janki comes to the Lutra house and Grandma comes there and greet both Sala and Janki. Sala says that she heard about Rishab and Shelly's unborn child and she felt really bad so she decided to come and meet them. Grandma says that she felt really nice because Sala came to visit them. Karan comes there and takes blessings from Sala and Sala blesses Karan. Raki comes to Sala and Sala asks Raki if Raki is fine but Raki says that that is not the case because whenever there is sadness then the happiness also follows them. But Sala says that Raki must rest and Sala assures Raki that the house would once again be lit with happiness. As they were standing there, they heard a call from Mahira and everyone were worried but Prithvi also follows Mahira asking her that she needs to stop. Mahira says that this is the right time. Karina comes down and asks that what does Mayura have to say. Mayura says that she knew everything from the past few days but now she has to reveal the truth. Mayura says that Karina allowed her to stay in the house, saying that there was no need for her to go to the hostel. So how can anyone ask her to leave? Prithvi quickly says that Mayura is the one behind the accident of Sherlyn before Mayura was able to complete her sentence and Prithvi insists that he is telling the truth. Everyone were shocked and Mayura says that it is all a lie. Pritfi says that he can prove it that Mayura was the one behind the accident and Pritfi asks Rishab if Rishab doesn't want to know why Mayura tried to kill his wife. Rishab asks Mayura that what is Pritfi saying and Mayura replies that it is all a lie but Pritfi says that he is sure of what he is saying and he can prove it that that is the truth and he has the evidence. Shriti thinks that Mayura, Sherlyn and Pritfi are on the same team so why is Pritfi against Mayura now? And Prita was also worried seeing Mahira and Prithvi fighting. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all again in my next video. Bye guys.